the cut lines, how that one was going to work. This will actually show me the pass that the cutter is going to take. And now if I rotate this thing down this direction, can you see how this thing has got different steps? Mm -hmm. I can actually, I can actually watch, look at that thing, and see exactly how the bit's going to go in there. And this works a lot easier with a mouse rather than this touchpad too. But I can turn those on and off. I see how them guys cut out the rims now on solid films. All right, this one here is going to show how this is going to go. It's set off on the inside of this thing, but this is going to put the profile because I have to offset it to start with. And I tell this to preview this tool pack. It doesn't hardly show me anything on this thing. If I offset it again further out to the side, it will show up because I'm cheating the machine. Normally, your bit, the normal bit you wouldn't use, you'd be starting from the center line to your curve. If you had the rubber, you bought the rubber bits that would go through there. But I cheated. I decided to make one out of a bit I already had. So I cheated the machine again. Lost me on that. All right. But if I was going to do a normal, if I if I went out and bought a forty dollar round over bit, it would start off from the very center line. This part here would right. start from the center. Okay. All right. But I I made up a thing for the machine as I'm using a new bit. All right, but it doesn't. You don't want to start this on the center line because I would be cutting a flat spot. Plus, I'd have a hole stuck in the middle where this would go to. So I have to offset this thing a quarter of an inch in order to get from the center. There's a quarter inch difference from the center to the, where this cut starts out here. So I'm offset. So it doesn't show up on there, but it does when you make your, your passes on here. If I have it set up, when I first did it on there, I had it set up, and this is what it did. You can see where my bit came down into here to make my cut. And I was actually cutting a shoulder on here, which I didn't want to do. Can you see that? Now this thing actually cut a shoulder. I didn't want that. I only wanted that part of the bit to come off to the side. Well, here, you hold this in here, and you can see how I had to offset where I told the machine to offset it at. But anyhow, that's how you can do the thing. And then when you get done with it, if I tell this to close, this tells me that that cutter is going to be going 0.375, which is 3 eighths of an inch deep. I had to do that again. Let me see that a second. Because this piece right here sticks down an eighth of an inch. What, from this piece here sticks yeah. down an eighth from where the cutter starts. So I want to go down a quarter of an inch, but I had to tell the machine to go three-eighths so I could get past where this was at. Because when I zeroed it out, that's what was touching the, the board. That was my zero spot. Mm -hmm. So I had to tell it to go three-eighths in order to get this to go down a quarter of an inch. And that's using your bit. Yeah, that was using my bit. All right. On this other one, I go to this pocket. This tells me that I went in 0.62, which is five-eighths of an inch. This also gives me a rough idea of how long this thing is going to take to run this thing. If I go to, where's my time? Uh, it's too short. Estimated machining time. Uh, this is going to, to do the pocket, it's going to take nine minutes. If I want to do, find the profile, I go again and go to it. And that says nine minutes, but it does, sure doesn't take that long to do that thing. Oh, this, this gives me the total time, that's what it's doing. Oh, okay, there. One minute and 34 seconds for the, to do the profile round, because it does it in three different steps. It's not going down and doing it all at one time, it's doing three different steps. Because of but it gives me my machining time, or a pretty good estimate of how long it's going to take to do the machining round. Now, let's go back to this thing. Let's go, I'm going to start off with a brand new nothing and show you how easy this is. 
All right. This right here tells me my width and my, my height. The width is going this way on the x-axis. The length is going this way on the y-axis. And this right now is set up for a 10 by 10. It's going to be a half inch thick. Let's make this one inch thick. All right, I want my zero point on my axis to start off from the top face of the board. I can also set it to start off from my machine height. And it would program itself everything from there for, for knowing how far I want to go into the board. But you're better off to start off from the surface of your material. Just in case you've gotten variables someplace, you're better off to start off from the surface of the material. But I can tell it to go from there or go from this bottom part down here. I can also tell this where to start on my pattern. On a corner or dead center. It's easy just to set it up on a corner or you have a dot where you want to start it off from because you've got to line it up out there. So that's what this right here is. This is telling me that I'm going to be starting it off on this corner right down here, my, my lower left corner. And uh, I can do this in metric or inches, either one. All right, now that I've got a blank screen, this is my 10 by 10 blank screen. This is the size of my board. If I want to put a box in here, square. I click on this and I can tell this how big I want to make it. Uh, let's say we want to have a 5 by 5 box. A square and I'll tell it to create it. And it just made me a square. That's that fast. <clears throat> Alright. Oops. Now let's get this in all the way back to the final size. All right. If I don't like that, I can come over here and click on this. I highlight it. I can go back to my box and I can change that. Say I only wanted three by five. And it just redid my box for me. Oh, I got this backwards. Hold on. That's my anchor point. That, that, that. So here's my little box over here. I can take this thing here really easy if I want to center that in there. I've got some, some controls that say center the box for me. You know, I center it up in my board. I don't have to figure, do any figure. I just say center it up for me. <laughs> All right. All right, that's how you were going to start off with something.